71% as per the survey said unemployment situation is severe, very serious or somewhat serious. You bring out a white paper, you do not mention the word unemployment. Your own periodic labor survey put unemployment at a 45-year high in 2017-18. I mean, somewhere there has to be some acknowledgement of the problem. How long are you going to run away from it? Can you please keep quiet for a change? Then you say, Sanju Verma, you get personal with me. Are you a panelist or a journalist? You ask no, I am, I am a journalist who asks questions. I will tell you so who I am. I will tell you who I am. I am a journalist who asks questions. I will quiet. not let you get away it without answering it. It is my duty to give you answers. It is your You're duty not giving to ask the answers. Answer. Why did a white so paper of the government quiet? of India not mention the word rattled? unemployment? Why are you getting rattled? I'm giving you my answers. I am rattled. I will ask you questions. I will ask you questions. I'm giving you the answer. You're not in a war with me. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, yes. Keep quiet now for 30 seconds. Thank you. Hold your horses for 30 seconds. Yes, zip it for 30 seconds. So basically what I was saying was, if you assume this conversion rate of the EPF ASIC data of 34 crore subscribers is only 63%, that means we've added 21.42 crore jobs. To that, I'm not even adding the 43 crore loans uh, under the Mudra Yojana, which were dispensed, out of which 30 crore loans were dispensed to women alone. I'm not even talking about the uh, one crore jobs that were created at the height of the pandemic under the Atmanirbhar Rozgar. 30 Yuchna. seconds up. I'm not even talking about the Prime Minister Employment Guarantee Scheme. Simply on the basis of EPF and ESIC data, we've created 21.42 crore okay, jobs. Okay. So that's what the BJP spokesperson is saying. Let's look at the response to the question of has the Modi government been able to create enough jobs? 32% say yes. Uh, few jobs have been created, say 25 not at all say 31. In most of the responses we've seen Shankara here, the approval ratings of the government are very high. On this one question of jobs, opinion is very divided. There are those amongst BJP supporters as well who don't think enough has been done to create new jobs. And therein lies the problem. Unemployment and job creation are the two big challenges along with price rise this government confronts. Well, obviously, if you look at your own data for the last three years, you will see that these two issues, unemployment and inflation, are flagged persistently, consistently, and have been flagged by uh, the magazine and the survey. If you look at the data per se, I mean, inflation is the real issue. Last month, food price inflation was 9.5%. I mean, you know, inflation overall might have been 57 but food price inflation is what hurts the poor the most. And mercifully, you have a, a free food scheme going on, things could have been worse. If you look at the employment data, there are over 2 million government posts vacant. And the Prime Minister has taken up a uh, scheme to announce jobs every 45 days or two, uh, two months. And that is a recognition that there is an issue in public sector employment. If you look at the pe periodic survey of labor force, it tells you that only one in five persons in India has a salaried job. 35% uh, of people are holding casual jobs. And India is among those countries which has the highest number of people who are self-employed. You can look at the data at any which way, but the survey is telling you a story, and the survey is being, there is a political response to this also. The fact that we are spending X amount on Manrega, the fact that states, when they go to polls, I have to talk about direct benefit transfers to women. The fact that, you know, you had to ex extend the uh, free food scheme. All of this tells you a story that there are far too many people located in agriculture. I mean, 45% of the workforce depends on one-sixth of the GDP. So that's one side of the story for you. The second side of the story is that we are in a difficult place. There is not going to be any China. And if you look at, you, I mean, Rajdeep was asking about why there is no mention of unemployment in uh, the white paper. Yesterday, the former chief economic advisor did a comparison of Manmohan Singh regime and Modi regime. And he, of course, con very conveniently forgot to mention demonetization during which he was uh, chief economic advisor. So contextual uh, convenience is part of the story. 
but the mota moti thing which yashwant might be able to expound more about with his data is that neither the bjp is able to articulate how well it has done in job creation now obviously if the government has spent over 60 lakh crores in infrastructure jobs would have been created where have those jobs been and why is it get why is it getting flat i would have hoped and thought that the white paper would do a comparison of the job creation take it to the opposition the opposition has never been accused of strategy or intelligence and of course they don't have a plan as to how they will fix this problem and people of india have to switch on the tv at 9am 9pm every night and wonder which side is telling the truth 